All right, so hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a reading for a sign of cancer, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every cancer. Um, for the person that donated, thank you so much. I don't know if you're this sign or what sign you are, or if you're watching this or whatever, but thank you either way. Um, now, one thing I want to say is we have a 60% off sale off most shop items on my Etsy shop. So make sure you check that out. You can find a bunch of different things. So you can literally find something there for a dollar at the moment. Okay. You can find my holographic stickers, which are limited edition here. All right. You can find my Oracle cards, which are limited edition as well. And on the 5th, we're going to have a mini version, mini holographic version of my Oracle cards available on there. All right. So that's in the description down below. First link. Go check that out. Go buy something. That, that'd be really cool there, Cancer. Just saying. Um, but yeah, let's get into your reading here. Oh, what do we have? We have the lovers. Oh, look at this, Cancer. We have love. All right. So let's see what's happening. All right. You have your cards just wanting to come out here. We have... The Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. So it feels like this is something that's been on your mind here. This love. You're going to have to need more for this. What's happening? We have the Five of Cups. Four of Wands. Alright, so this is a person that you've been missing here. You've been worrying about them here. Could be like a twin flame with the Four of Wands. Alright. I do see you cooperating or working the relationship out. So let's see more. Yeah, there's going to be a reunion between you and this person. They could be a Sagittarius. Oops. Sagittarius, because I was on the bottom of the deck. Got the Three of Cups. The Knight of Wands. So there's a reunion here happening between you and this person, which feels like is a Sagittarius or has Sagittarius placements. But either way, we just have this card when we come out, so we're just going to put it there. Yeah, the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate. This is someone... You both feel that connection towards one another. So you've been missing them, they've been missing you. You've been worrying about them, they've been worrying about you here. Alright. We have the Tower. So maybe you have like Scorpio placements, or they do, with the Sun. So they could also have Leo placements. But, Cancer, what I see here is that unexpectedly there's some movement between you and this person. I feel like there's a reunion here, alright? Any blockages being removed and that causes happiness because, you know, it it progresses things. There's communication here. Cancer, we have the Knight of Swords. That's fast communication. You see, we have the Queen of Wands with Justice. All right, Justice, which is Libra, and Queen of Wands, which is Fire, which we do have Sag. We were talking about that. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, we have the King of Wands. We have the Moon, which is your own card because that's your ruling planet. Ooh, the Three of Swords. Six of Wands, Two of Swords, 
Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands. I see you, like, learning the truth about someone else here. Not that they're involved with someone else, but, like, someone else out of this, this connection here. It can be, like, an Earth sign, or another Fire sign, or another Cancer here. Can be something with work related as well. You gotta find out the truth about a situation. All right, Cancer, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, the Moon. Okay. And it feels more work related. Alright. Something hidden there. Oh, look at that. We have the Queen of Wands once again. We have the Nine of Oops. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups. So it feels like this Queen of Wands is just kind of like they don't really have it. They don't they're not with anybody else here, Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups tells me that is what you have with them. I see you imagine having like the Ten of Cups with them. Ten of Cups is like a happy family, happy relationship. Alright, and I think they're you're both like thinking about the each other the same way. You realize that here? We have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. I see that there could be like an Earth sign that you end up having issues with that you stop speaking to. I don't know, they just end up giving you a lot of issues and you end up stop speaking to this person. This is a different person than all these other people in this reading. Alright. Be like a friend or a family member. It doesn't really feel romantic. Either way. You have Seven of Pentacles. Alright, Cancer. Why the Seven of Pentacles there? You have the High Priestess and the Ten of Wands. High Priestess tells me that you're intuitive, that you have this intuition of what's coming up ahead for you. Um, I see a lot of things that you're wanting to invest into, but it's going to take hard work, but I think it'll lead somewhere. I think you're aware of that here. Um, and I think you're aware of that this, this Sag here is still interested in you. They still want to invest into you. There could also be like a Pisces or someone with Pisces placements. Just wanting to invest in something with you, but this is a person that brings a lot of burdens as well and a lot of drama. Five of Wands. Are you be meeting a Pisces that is like that? Either way. We have the tower, once again, the wheel of fortune, look at this. So you're clearing the way, clearing the way of the obstacles to bring in good things, to bring in this person, to bring in success, to bring in investments, opportunities, all that sort of stuff, Cancer, alright? Your wish fulfillment, the nine of cups.
We have the Emperor. Okay, we have the Higher Fence. We have Death, which is Scorpio. Like I said, there's Scorpio here. We have the World. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Wands. The Fool. Alright, Cancer. So, I see you just going, like, you're going into the new year like it is a new year. Alright, the fool, the world, alright, you're just like, you know, brand new life. It feels like what you're wanting, like, new, 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 okay? Some of you could be starting a business or working on a business or your business growing. Eight of Pentacles with the Emperor. I think your business is going to pick up if you have a business. If you've been thinking about starting a business, do it because it feels like it's going to turn into something big. Um, I also see there could be a cycle completed between you and you and an Aries or you and a Taurus, either way. That's something that's kind of completed and over. Um, but I see you just kind of like being ready for the new. Just jumping into things. Alright, Cancer. What it feels like here. Feels like that's in business. Okay. Where's my cards at? Why can't I find them? That's in business here. The Emperor. The Fool. That's in this connection that you're having with this, this Sag here. Alright. It's a reunion. You about to that you either are having or about to have here. Alright, because it's like you've both been missing one another here. This is in love, lovers, okay? Six of cups, because that's like soulmate and twin flame here, okay? So, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below to go buy something, you know, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.